Hello Zebra Herd. Today we're completing the remaining time trial courses in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Let's get started. So it's time for even more time trials. Last episode, we got the first six cups done. Now we're doing the second half of them, six more cups, but instead of with Pauline, we'll be doing it with Peach Ed. Right. <laughs> and as you can tell, she sort of sounds a little bit different than Princess Peach does if we choose her over here. It's definitely a different voice. I don't know if it's supposed to be like the voice actor of Toadette who does Peach Ed. I'm not really sure. It's very interesting though. Either way, we got Peach Ed chosen here. I'll be doing the same card setup as last time. Sorry if that's a little bit boring, but of course, prioritizing my uh, actual gameplay, I wanna do what's most familiar to me. We got the Fruit Cup, Boomerang Cup, Feather Cup, Cherry Cup, Acorn Cup, and Spiny Cup that we'll be completing throughout today, starting with Amsterdam Drift from Mario Kart Tour. And as you can see, we'll be racing against Daisy, Nintendo Mark, a minute and 48 seconds. All right, so with Amsterdam Drift, might have to warm up a little bit here. It's been a little bit since I last played, but we will drift our way through this. And this is definitely one of those courses I'm not super familiar with, so it might be better this first attempt to follow Daisy a little bit and see how far we go. So far, so good. Definitely just trying to make the most out of everything. Oh, here we go. I didn't trick off of that. Oh no. Okay, so she's using the mushroom right here to cut across this corner. Gotcha. The music here is cool. Whoa. Okay. Doing some. Crazy moves there. She decided to get that way. I don't think I need to do that as much. Whoa, actually, I feel like I caught up a little bit with that too. So that's pretty good. And that's already the first lap done. We get our seventh coin. They're using that mushroom immediately. Ooh. Okay, and I guess we're getting boosted way up here. Whoa, oh, I missed that one, unfortunate. You know, let's use our mushroom now. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Heading down here. <laughs> I don't remember this course a ton, so it's really just experiencing it again, getting a good feel for it as we head into this final lap. Maybe I will try the corner cut this time. Definitely help me catch up. With that being said, I think that Daisy still has a mushroom. Okay, going into here getting a good drift going on, really trying to cut this corner, because we are catching up a little bit, but that might change as we head over here, because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, ah, I hit the grass patch, unfortunate. And that's where they used the mushroom. Okay, interesting. Got our 10th coin there. We're not too far behind, but hard to keep up. So yeah, we'll go ahead and give this one a second try. I'll see if I can't, you know, from the beginning, do a little bit better, but I think we get the idea. All right, this one's close. I've tried quite a few times now to catch up and I can't quite make it. So we'll see if this one works. If not, uh, doesn't seem like it. I think I'll just leave it there just because we gotta move on to the other million courses that are still left ahead of us. So a new record still isn't so bad. We'll move on to the next one. Peachette not so happy about it, but we'll get more victories later on. So that was the Amsterdam course. Let's see the next one. I really do feel like these time trials are a lot more difficult than the original tracks were. Because I remember, you know, having some struggles with those, but they weren't this tough. Either way, we have the Riverside Park up next. Of course, a part, a part of a Mario Kart Super Circuit. Let's give it a try against Toad, Nintendo Frank. A minute and 34 seconds. All right, so this was a super impressive track the first time we tried it. Hopefully, we might be able to get a good victory here. We'll have to wait and see, for sure. I'm guessing it'll still take us, you know, an extra try or two, but that's all right. It's gotta take some good turns and drifts and stuff, especially since I sort of have to re-remember the best path for this course, but I have to imagine that this right here is probably the best corner cut we can ask for. So I might just wanna stick with that for most of the race, but for right now, I'll grab some extra coins here and there. Just like that, and we're going through the waterfall, and that's already the first lap done. I think that's our best bet. Obviously, I think like this is a good corner cut right here for this very first turn, but I think that one with the mud is probably the best spot to get to. Probably should try to get to grab some more coins too. Just like this, boom, corner cutting again. Whoa, it looks like Toad, still taking the same path here, is right on top of us. 
is actually taking us over now, which is a little concerning. Maybe they were able to grab some coins that I wasn't. Okay, go, go, go. Okay, taking the lead again, and then right about here. Really cut this corner well this time. I gotta stay ahead of Toad. Oh, easier said than done. A little bit more, a little bit more. Purple, got it. They're still right behind me, but I think we might have made it. Yes, all right, so that's a good bounce back from the last track. Actually able to get the win this time. A brand new record only by a few moments. These time trials are definitely challenging. Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and change our course right over here. All right, next up we have, of course, the Mario Kart Wii DK Summit. This is a very cool one. Of course, it has to be racing against Donkey Kong, Nintendo Fosti, two minutes and 22 seconds. All right, so this one is always such a nostalgic track for me. Let's see if we can't stay ahead of DK. Whenever DK's on the bike, I'm always terrified because he always goes really fast. So maybe we'll be able to keep up with this one. I'll give this one one or two tries for sure, but hopefully it's something we can get done on the first try. Maybe I could get up here, grab a couple of coins. Whoa, whoa, that was an interesting way to get ahead. That seemed to really work out for me. So keep that in mind. And then definitely jump off some of these. I was hoping to grab a coin or two. So far, not super successful on the coin idea, but we keep moving through. And then definitely, once again, I wanna get up here just, uh, just for one coin. I'm really not doing the best with that. But let's get over on this side. I got three more, excellent and then maybe I could just do that again. I don't know if the angling was super there at that time, but I didn't use my mushroom. I might as well use this straight away, only a second behind so we can definitely catch up. DK is soaring off ahead of us, so definitely a little bit concerning, but I think I just want to honestly try this again because it seemed to work you know, really well. I caught up quite a lot with that, so that seems to be an interesting almost corner cut. DK, okay, used his mushroom there. I'll drift through this as much as I can. Because 10 coins can be surprisingly important to get. I will launch through one more time. Still not getting any coins at all. And we're still a bit behind, darn. Not exactly what I want. Actually, more time behind now than we were before. Definitely a struggle. I don't know if we have the best car combo for this, but just gotta keep going. Just gotta keep going. Once again, I will do this since it just catches me up almost every time. Get up this way. I'll boost through here too. Okay. Might just have to be happy with eight coins. And I think there is a jump you can do here. I don't know if it's super worth it. Maybe a 200 CC. Got it. Okay. Okay, the trick didn't even work that time. So it looks like it's not gonna work out here. We just gotta keep trying that and hopefully I can just maybe make a little bit more time. If not, we'll move to the next track now. Okay, this time I'm doing a whole lot better with just keeping ahead. I think this is still helping me a ton. And I got up to nine coins now, which is pretty nice. I'll keep going this way. Get one more coin, I'm up to 10 of them. It's always good, and if I start drifting early in this, I can usually get a purple. This time I didn't though, <laughs> because I don't know. There we go, there we go. Okay, getting through here, watch out for the snowboarding shy guy. I don't get much out of that one. Very unfortunate, he might end up catching up to me here, but if I just keep going this way, I should be fine, I should be fine. There we go, awesome. So there's a new record for us. Able to get something happening on DK Summit is always good to see. So I think we had like a two second lead, maybe a 1.4-ish, something like that. Uh, congratulations, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and change our course to the next one. Okay, so our final course of this cup, the Fruit Cup, is gonna be Yoshi's Island. Very cool course indeed. We're gonna be racing against Baby Mario. How fitting. Nintendo skip two minutes and 20 seconds. All right, so let's see how we go with this one. Of course, this was such a cute track added um, with this wave. And this is the first wave that had a new character at Birdo. But just like with some of the other new tracks and some new to it, it might take me a good couple tries to really get used to it 
and get a good finish here. Well, get a boost off of that. I tried the drift and the game promptly ignored me. Uh, all right, keep it going. Definitely grab some coins. Oh yeah, and they're the Yoshi coins too. This game, I mean, this just makes me want to play the Yoshi's Island game, for sure. Up on the top of the volcano, way up here. And it looks like we're drifting through the clouds now. Like I said, I'm not super duper worried about whether or not we get a good finish this first time, but it looks like I'd imagine that a good corner cut right here Ooh, I see. A little bit too early with it. Gotcha. Um, so we're a, mi a second behind. We'll try to get used to things here and catch up. And I had to use two mushrooms for that corner cut, so I definitely can't do it the next lap. So I think baby Mario here probably has me beat, but we can keep trying this and get a little bit farther ahead. Okay, let's give it another fresh start here. Probably could have gotten a little bit of an earlier boost, but overall, should be fine. Okay, just get through here. There's so many cute enemies. There's a lot of use of like cool motion in this track that I like a lot. Just through all the animations and enemies running around, having a great time. The fantastic music and stuff. I think for it being a new track, this might be the most impressive one out of the booster course pass, at least in my opinion. Getting up here. Grabbing that, definitely do a good trick off of that one. I always end up trying to get into this turn early though, and that's not doing me any favors. So I need to be careful with that, for sure. But I will grab an extra coin from this, get a good drift going on, and then cut the corner just like Baby Mario does. We're right behind him, so at least we have that. I can try to keep all that in mind. Get some good drifts going on here, and that definitely helped me catch up a little bit. Oh, I was trying to grab that other coin. Darn, watch out for the crab. Okay, that was nice. Closing that distance a little bit, I think. Yeah, they're about to use the mushroom there. I think the other corner cut is better, so we'll save our mushroom and just do that again. So, make sure we just yeah, land a little bit more straightforward. Good drift there. I don't know what this does, so oh, I guess I'm not finding out. <laughs> Maybe it just gives me a couple of extra coins. But now might be a good time just to do that. Cut this corner and, wait, what? How did they get there? Oh, that's what hitting that does. It gives me a shortcut, doesn't it? That's gonna be much more important. Okay, so yeah, hitting it makes this big bridge happen and that's basically a free mushroom because you don't have to worry about that whole thing. Obviously, Baby Mario's really ahead of me here, but that's what I have to do when I'm actually already caught up with it. Hopefully we can do that, and then I can keep up with this time trial a little bit better. Okay, this time I got it on the first lap, which is fantastic, because I know that Baby Mario didn't. So I can do this, and then I don't even have to worry about the using the mushroom there. I can just use it on the straightaway, and we're two seconds ahead. So that's a really good opportunity. If I can just keep doing that each lap, I should be totally fine with winning this one. We're gonna find out. Okay, I missed the boost there. Obviously, there's still plenty of room for mistakes, so I just need to race as if I'm behind. Make sure no opportunity is missing. I get some extra coins here and there. Definitely try to, yeah, grab that one, so I'm up to 10. Okay, here we go, here we go. Because I know that baby Mario gets it this time, so the fact that I don't is a disaster. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. Maybe I should just save the mushrooms next time. I don't know. That was maybe not the best move, but I'm still ahead. So let's see if I can't just make it work for the ending here. Drifting through this as fast as I can. Got it. I'm at 10 coins, so as long as nothing too disastrous happens, I think we'll be good. I know how to take these turns. Get through here, do a little trick, or not. Okay, thanks game. Every time, I don't know why this has been happening a lot more lately, but I'll, I'll press the button for a trick and just won't get a trick. Oh, so upsetting, it's so easy to miss that stuff. Okay, just drifting through and maybe I'll be able to stay ahead of baby Mario, maybe he won't get the bridge. We'll find out in a moment. It looks like he doesn't, okay, cool. There we go, we win, I'm glad. So tough to do, but we find a way through, that's good. So, new ghost data created, and as you can see with this one, two seconds ahead, more or less. All right, I love Peach's, or Peachette's little dancer. Let's go ahead and move to the next cup now. 
All right, so for our next one, we have the Boomerang Cup, starting with the Mario Kart Tour Bangkok Rush. We get over here. Our ghost will be, of course, the Inkling Boy, Nintendo Yuya, a minute and 54 seconds. All right, whoa. I really like the look of this track. Has a cool vibe to it for sure. I'm not sure if I'll give too many more tracks, like an extensive over and over again try, just because I do want to move on with these stages. It is taking a lot of time to get through all these time trials because there's just so many courses, which really goes to say, you know, how many courses there are added to the game now with the booster course pass. Okay, we're up here on top of the little stands. Ah, maybe not the best turn. It looks like we can go up here though. I don't know if I needed a mushroom for that. It looks like Inkling Boy just used it on this straightaway. Grab some extra coins for sure. I don't know if I went up here before. Oh, some I was track. I barely remember this track though. Good corner cuts. I'll just follow the leader at the moment and we'll see if we can't catch up over time. Okay. Corner cut right there. Got it, got it, got it. I see a couple more coins we can grab right there. We're up to 10 already. That's fantastic. So, I definitely think we have some opportunities. Ah, oh, until I go straight into the little crab. Are you kidding me? All right. Keep it moving, keep it moving. We might be able to catch up, we might not. Oh, they, they have the staircase blocked off for this lap. All right, keep it going. Just like that. Inkling boy nowhere in sight though, unfortunately, and I'm running into the wall. I don't know this course super well. So unfortunately, I don't think there's much of a chance I can catch up at this point. But whoa, we're way up here now. Oh, this is cool, this is very cool. And I guess I could have gotten up there, but my angling just wasn't where I needed to be. Okay, keep getting through this way. I see them so far out of us. All right, so yeah, not quite getting the victory here, but I can't take a half an hour on every course or I'll be here for the rest of the day. So we'll keep it going. Um, how, how many seconds were we? We were four seconds behind. Peachette seems so upset. Let's move to the next course. All right, next up we have Mario Kart DS Mario Circuit. This one, of course, is one of my favorite tracks, so we'll definitely be going, doing pretty well against it as we race against Mario. Nintendo Pit, a minute and 50 seconds. All right, so let's give this one a try. Determined to get a good time with this one, so I'll just race through as much as I can. I love the Mario DS courses. I've said time and time again, but uh, also I really like this kind of track layout with these kind of turns. They always just end up having fun drifting situations. And we didn't use our mushroom there, and we're still keeping up pretty well. So I can save it for later. Cause like right here, this looks like a fun corner cut. There we go. I think that's gonna be the one I use on each of the laps, cause I'm back in the lead again. No problem. I definitely need some coins though, so if I could just grab a few of those. Excellent, excellent. I might take it a little bit wider since I do have a lead just to get some more coins, and then I can get up to nine of them right here. Mario might use this corner cut again. Seems like he will. I don't prefer that one. I definitely think that this right here is a whole lot better. Oh no, that was actually a different one. <laughs> Interesting. They still sort of one of the same in that way. All right. Focus on drifting it out there. As you can see, as we head into the last lap, I am one second in front. Always love the song for this one, too. Mario also used the same shortcut every time, but this time, even after he used the shortcut, I'm still ahead. So I can cut through here, no problem. Just barely missing that tree. I would have been bothered if we hit that one. We're fine, we're fine. Drift into this, and then one last drift here. This one will be a purple one for sure. There we go. Super solid finish. We win in Mario Circuit. Awesome. All right, so let's see our time. Yeah, we got more than a full second ahead. Almost a second and a half there. Let's go ahead and change our course for the next one in this cap. 
All right, so next up we have Waluigi Stadium, of course, from Double Dash. This one, I'm not super crazy familiar with, but I think we can keep up with Waluigi here at Nintendo Maria, two minutes and 16 seconds. All right, the crowd is roaring for us. Will we be able to get a good time? The wait and see, Waluigi could be a tough opponent for sure. But I'll do some drifts, I'll do some tricks. And as we're racing through this, you know, I haven't talked about it too much today, but I would love to hear your thoughts on Peach added to the game. I know a lot of people aren't so thrilled about it. Oh, can I go through the red ones? I, I think if we hit the not red ones, uh, they will not boost up like that. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Peachette. Oh man. Uh, here we go, here we go. A lot of people not so happy about her inclusion. I think it's fine. I mean, keeping in mind that the fact that getting characters added to this booster course pass seemed to have been just a total bonus to begin with. It wasn't really something that was advertised or even mentioned to be included, and then boom, we get a bunch of characters. I think that a lot of people say, you know, it's like a waste of a slot, but I, I, I feel like that's typically not how it works as far as I understand, is that a lot of these characters are ported over from uh, Mario Kart Tour. So it's probably just that they had the ability to port it over, and that's probably a lot less work in time than just making an entire new character that somebody might be requesting. So I see the character as like a total bonus. I don't know if we're catching up too well here. I started pretty well. And I'm not one who dislikes Peach at too much. Obviously there's a lot of versions of Mario and Peach in the game at this point but I don't think that's exactly a bad thing. <laughs> and if you don't like the character, you can just simply not choose it. <laughs> I think that's always the biggest takeaway. But overall, I think Peachette's a pretty cool power-up. I think that the idea for New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe is really fun. And if you don't know, that's where Peachette comes from. For people who don't know where, you know, what Peachette is, really, Peachette is actually Toadette, um, picking up a crown power-up in New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And it was a pretty neat concept, that way you could actually play as Peach, even though in New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, you were trying to rescue Peach, so <laughs> that, that's always really weird. So it's like, it's technically not Peach, so I guess you can't really say it's exactly a Peach reskin in that way. All right, we haven't gone up there at all, and I'm so behind here. I don't think there's too much of a chance for me at this rate. But definitely, I think it's a, it's a fun character. I'm happy to play as it. We got four new characters here, so I'm happy to see it. All right, so yeah, not the best time on this one. Just not super familiar with that one. It, it's not really my strength when it comes to a track, especially with how muddy and slippery it is, but we will just move on from that. We have one more track left in this cup. I definitely want to get done, so let's move to that. So if we change our course, we're back over here. So we have Mario Kart Tour Singapore Speedway as our last one for the Boomerang Cup. Let's get it started. Right over here, we're racing against Bowser, Nintendo Alice, two minutes and eight seconds. All right, whoa, I just, this one's so pretty. All the tour tracks, or at least like the city tour tracks, I really like them while Bowser is huge compared to us right now. Oh, he's got the big wheels and the big cart. Didn't really do the best with the drifting there, but we'll catch up, we'll catch up. Grab two coins right there. And we go through the big cannon. Oh, I'm starting to remember this track. This one's great. Okay, do a little trick off of that. Avoid the Goombas in the water. Definitely do a trick there or not. Game didn't feel like listening to me. It's okay. This is such a fun track though, I love it. A little bit ahead of Bowser at the moment. I don't really know where to use my mushroom in this course, but I mean, I guess I could just use one right here considering the fact that it's just a straightaway. We got the first lap done. I think this second lap though might prove to be a little bit different. Grab another coin. So we drift across here. Whoa, ooh, scary one. Almost ran into the wall, but we're okay. All right, got it. Whoa, so fun. Let's get up here a little bit. I don't see, oh no, I was gonna say, I don't see Bowser, he's passing me. <laughs> get back here, all right. On to the last lap here. I'm sure they must have used a mushroom somewhere around here. So I still have my two, which means I can definitely one, use one soon. Uh, especially since I'm hitting the wall a little bit. So I'll use it there for a recovery. Oh man, oh man. Uh, then maybe I'll just use it there 
to sort of fix my trajectory a little bit. I get one last boost there. I don't know where the finish line is or anything. We might be able to beat Bowser here, but it's gonna be close. Come on, get a good drift going on. I don't even know which way we're gonna end up going, but it looks like right over here through the market again. Ah, oh, I missed the coin. Would have gotten me at the 10. Oh, we gotta take a left here. Oh no, come on, come on, we're so close. Will we be able to get the win on the first try on a tour track? Yes, we will. That never happens. That's awesome. Glad we could get it done. And as you can see, our new ghost data was created. I'm glad we get a win after that. So that's our second cup done. Awesome. All right, so with that cup all finished up, we're moving on to the Feather Cup with Mario Kart Tour Athens Dash. Ooh, who are we racing against? It's gonna be Wiggler. Cool, this is our first race against Wiggler in time trials. It's Nintendo Pedro, a minute and 52 seconds. All right, so let's see how we do through Athens. I do remember this one a little bit more since it was a little bit more recent, and hopefully we can keep up with Wiggler. I'll give it my best shot here. Oh man, so let's just go ahead. I don't know if I should have used a mushroom here, but one of the catch up a little bit. And I think I'll take this turn a little bit wide, but we'll grab a coin out of it. Not bad, not bad. And then, oh yeah, the big Coliseum drift we got here. Not able to grab any coins though, unfortunately. I have a feeling they might use the mushroom here. Yep, there they go, using that corner cut. Good to know, we're not too far behind. And can I maybe trick off the steps? I can't, I don't know if that's just the game being silly or if something happened there, but I can do that. And then we're almost there. Come on, let's keep it moving, keep it moving. Just two seconds behind, we can definitely catch up. It's not out of the realm of possibility here. I will go this way instead. I think that helped me catch up a little bit. We're catching up to more parts of the Coliseum. Come on, come on, got it. I don't know if we'll quite make it, but I certainly wanna try. It probably would've been better to go that way, huh? Okay, I'll mushroom through that so that we are still <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds behind. Didn't help me too much, did it? Come on, come on. I'll try to do some tricks off of these. See if we can catch up a little bit more, but not looking super promising. Worst case scenario, I maybe want, want to do this one one more time since we're super far behind, but I'll have to wait and see. It looks like a shortcut over here. I don't know how much of a shortcut that really is. You had to go pretty far out of your way to actually reach it. I don't think the Wiggler got it either, so don't know if that was super worthwhile, but looks like Wiggler's pretty far ahead. This is a bit of a faster track, but maybe we will just leave it there so we can move on to the next one, but there we go. That was Mario Kart Tour Athens. Feels like we're about 50-50 with our wins and losses so far, but it's still a new record, of course, since it's the first time racing through it, so we'll keep moving from that one. Okay, so what do we got next if we change our course? All right, next up for this cup, we got the Daisy Cruiser from Mario Kart Double Dash. This is a pretty cool one. Of course, we got a race against Daisy, Nintendo Chris, a minute and 47 seconds. All right, so let's give this one a try. I think that we should be able to keep up a little better with this one, a bit of a more simple track, and it looks like it may be going this way is a bit better. Seems like it so far. I'm gonna go through here, and I guess that gets me in the lead a little bit. Let's grab some coins on this drift and then cut it in a little bit more, just like that. We're keeping up. Always gotta watch out for the sliding tables with this spot, but I think we're fine. And I don't think it's faster to go down here, but since I am. We're heading down this way. Oh no, I might turn the wrong way a little bit. Ah, oh, not so good. They're ahead of me for the time being. But I think we can catch up a little bit. I still think this path might be a little bit faster. Hard to tell from here, especially if I'm bumping into the wall. Since this track is a bit shorter, maybe I'll redo this one if we do mess it up a little bit. But I feel like there's actually a chance I could do this in a couple of tries without it being like a, a bunch of do-overs. I wanna get as many of them cleared as possible. It's just not easy sometimes. Got it. Okay. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Gonna drift through here. And it looks like we're pretty far behind. So that's not so good. I wonder what what is different here. Okay, we're gonna restart because we're not doing super well with this attempt. Maybe we'll do better with the second one. Alright, let's get a better start. 
I think that should get us a good amount going. I'll go left instead of right here and see if that helps out a little bit more. I can do a cool trick there and then off of those. That does feel a lot better. Got all three coins. I don't quite know where to use my mushroom. Are you kidding me? Come on, it looked like it was gonna stay still and then it moved right in front of me at the last moment. Ugh, yeah, I don't know where the most optimal spot to use a mushroom on this course is because there isn't really any major shortcut as much as there is just alternate paths. Okay, trick, got it, and then just get right back into drifting. Not getting as many coins this time, I didn't hit the right angle, but I can get through this. I know that that table's gonna move. So I wanna turn with this one real early if I don't wanna end up on the under part. Okay, ah, oh, not a big fan of that section of the track. Definitely not, but we're not too far behind. I missed more coins, but can definitely drift through here and we're not as far behind as we were before. So that's at least something, right? Definitely did a little bit better on this part in the first lap. But we're slowly catching up. I don't think the bikes can get a purple drift, can they? Can't quite remember. Okay, yeah. Okay, that time she's gonna go under. I don't think it's worth doing that still. I would rather drift through here. Ah, oh, just barely ahead of me. Using the mushroom right there, huh? I don't know, here's our chance to catch up. Will we be able to make it happen? Have to wait and see. I'm right behind them. I definitely take some turns like this a little bit better in my opinion. Up the 10 coins now. Ooh, here we go. Don't fall down there. And then drift right about here. And then what I wanna do is something like this. Oh, it might be a good idea. It might not be. We're gonna find out in just a second. Come on, come on. Trick. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Yes, we're able to win this one. That's fantastic. Awesome. It's a new record for us. We were able to make it work in the end. Happy to see it. So there we go. Not gonna upload the data, but we will change our course to the next one. All right, so we're continuing right down the line. Next up is the Mario Kart Wii Moon View Highway. And as we can see with this one, we have Waluigi, Nintendo Yuya, a minute and 54 seconds. Okay, focusing in on just trying to get a decent start and so far, so good. This track can be very exciting. I don't know if that was a good idea, but it just sort of felt good in the moment. <laughs> I think there might be some interesting paths to take with this one, but how much of them are actually faster is the big question but a lot of room to drift around and make some good leads that way. Obviously, I've used my mushroom, but I don't think Waluigi has used the first. There are three, so we'll have to be careful. Getting a bit of a lead in front of us, but I'll get a good drift over here and sort of take it back. Excellent, all right. Gotta keep that in mind. So we go into lap number two, just a fraction of a second ahead. I would like to get these three right here. Oh, oh, let's just use the mushroom right here then to cut that corner. And I hope I don't hit any oncoming traffic. So scary, but we find a way through. I need one more coin and I see one more there. So I think I'll take that and then we'll start boosting through. So we do have a bit of a turn coming up, which I totally, totally ruined. Oh man, not good, not good. But right about here, just like we did before, Gonna take that turn, probably gonna hit more of the booster, but we're still in front of Waluigi, even if just a little bit. We have all 10 coins a little bit farther ahead than I was last time. Oh man, oh, you're kidding me. We were doing so good that I drive right into the bob bomb. Darn. So I found more success going up on that corner. So I wanna keep with that as much as I can. We'll get another coin here. Not really getting much of a trick off of that one, unfortunately, but it's okay. We got a purple drift right there. Watch out for this taxi. And we're up to eight coins with that. So let's keep moving our way through this. I was more ahead of him on that first lap. But it's okay. Oh, I missed that coin when I really, really needed it. Okay, here's our chance. Almost a full second ahead. We go through here again. I missed the trick this time, which certainly does not help, but I'm not hitting a bob on this time, that's for sure. 
Oh, just barely dodging that car. Oh, the surfboard sort of messing me up. Let's go through here. We know that this turn is the big one that we need to cut right over here. So we just go like this, go like that, sure. So it's working out, even if I don't have all 10 coins, it looks like we're gonna snag the victory here. Awesome. Definitely a tough one because of all the different crazy shortcuts and the, the bob bombs you can drive into, but we found a way through, which is great. So there's that done. Let's go ahead and change our course. All right, so our last one for the Feather Cup is gonna be Squeaky Clean Sprint. Such a cute track. Of course, we'll race against Kamek, Nintendo Fossey, two minutes and 17 seconds. Okay, so a really cool original track here. Gotta race through the bathroom. Just keep up with Kamek as much as possible, which I think Kamek was added with the way that this uh, track came in, so it's pretty fitting in that way. Definitely happy to see new characters get some of the uh, the time trial appreciation. I'll use my mushroom here just to see if I can catch up a little bit. This is another track where I'm not super confident. Okay, whoa, there we go. I think that might be a little better to use that on. Obviously, they're gonna be able to catch up now because I've used two, two mushrooms. Whoa, the wind really pushes you over there. In the lead for now as we go over the toilet. <laughs> Come on. Definitely want to do some tricks around there. It looks like Kamek took the lead with that one though, unfortunately. Yeah, two seconds behind just with that one turn. That was crazy. Okay, get another trick. Definitely need to pick up on some more coins. And then we got a trick off of the bath, bath bombs for sure. Back here, Kamek. Okay, could have been better, could have been worse. And the fan always goes a little crazy here. Still pretty far behind, we need to use the, the burst of the toilet to get up here this time. And it looks like, yeah, we're cutting through here. I might be able to grab some extra coins, but we're three seconds behind now. Oh man, pretty rough. Not really able to get over there the way I wanted to. I might just use the mushroom for the straightaway. Feels like the better idea. Whoa, especially it's so floaty, you can sort of cut that corner. If you didn't run into all the different obstacles, it isn't too bad. Got it as well as I could. I don't think we're catching up the Kamek, unfortunately, but this is a good try for sure. Got to see all the shortcuts and stuff. Such a fun track to race through, for sure. And boom, that's it. We, we lose, unfortunately. I don't know how much better I could do with that course, though, so we'll move on to the next one. That is the Feather Cup done, which means we're halfway through everything. We can keep it moving on to the next one. All right, our next cup is the Cherry Cup, which is starting with the Los Angeles laps from Mario Kart Tour. Very cool, if we race against the ghost, it's gonna be Mario, Nintendo, Alice, a minute and 57 seconds. Okay, so let's see if Peach can keep up with this one. I don't remember this track very much, but as you can see by the map, it is a huge track. Hitting the wall a little bit there was not what I wanted, that turn went a little bit longer than I expected, but it's okay. We'll just do what we can to keep up with Mario here. Got it. Oh, there's a ton of coins up here. Can I at least get, yeah, a couple of them. Whoa, they get smashed to the ground. Somehow still in one piece. Get the purple drift right there and it looks like we're going to the right. So just like Mario here, I'll just try to use my mushroom. Oh darn, I'm rubbing against the wall though, which definitely destroys my speed. Because of that, he will be able to zoom up, no problem. Come on. Two more coins right here, up to nine of them. So maybe a chance to catch up. Going through the stadium. Whoa. All right. Another mushroom used here. I keep hitting every corner a little wrong enough. Uh, I thought I could hop onto that curve. I guess I can't. Definitely jump up here though. 
and then back down this way. Mario is so far ahead of me at the moment. Oh, going through the construction, construction zone. I almost got squished there. So scary. Ooh. Come on, I might just use the mushroom here then. Huge turn, not only really going that well. I think I want to retry this one because I'm just making too many mistakes. I'll try to keep up with this last one. If it works out, great. If not, it is what it is. Okay, so, get a decent boost. This time, hitting it a whole lot better. I think that's gonna help me out quite a lot. I think I'll cut this corner. I think that's a little bit better than whatever corner we cut while following Mario. We know about all of this, right? So we can just not get the trick out of it. But I'm in the lead. They didn't take the lead with that corner cut. I think they used it, or maybe it was here. I think it was here, yeah, okay. But we're already up to nine coins, which is pretty nice. But, ah, oh, no, hitting the divider. I'm not doing anything right this track. It's rough. It's a really tough one already. Doing a little bit better, slightly ahead of Mario here. But I need to drift through this. Ooh, and I don't know if I got that best angle. But I can get a purple drift right there. I see a couple of coins I definitely want to snag. As we sneak our way through this street and over the Mario Baseball Stadium. This really makes me want a new Mario Baseball game. <laughs> I've never really played a Mario Baseball game before, but they just seem really cool. I mean, okay, that was weird. I held left, we drifted right. I really wanna beat this one now, but I think I'm just gonna give it one more try. Okay, doing a whole lot better this time. Each time I do a little bit better, it's just a matter of having the time to grind it out that much. Since there's so many tracks, you know, 100% getting every single time trial cleared just is a little bit more time than I have right now. But I figure, you know, we might as well showcase them all at the least to show how tough they can be, and also, we get the excuse of showcasing these characters along the way too, so that's pretty cool. Over here though, we're about a second ahead of Mario, and I wanna keep it that way. Might not be easy to do that though. This is a pretty tight turn. We can boost through there, get like this. Oh man, here we go, here we go. Boom, boom, and then back onto the ground so I can start drifting. Got it. Big turn coming up, I can't, Skip this one with the mushroom, unfortunately, but that's okay. Getting through here a little bit. Can I get the red boost? Not really, we're ahead of Mario, but for how long? I think we got it! There we go, we get the victory this time. That is great. So there we go. Looks like we get some good time going on there. We're gonna change our course zone and keep going through this cup. All right, the next one for the Cherry Cup will be the Sunset Wilds from Mario Kart Super Circuit. This one is a pretty crazy track. Racing against Petey Piranha, Nintendo Pit, a minute and 48 seconds. All right, so for this one, oh, it's the Wild West theming. I do remember this track. It's a bit of a shorter one, so hopefully we can keep up with it being off-road. I usually struggle with these a little bit more. A lot of these time trials end up having bikes, so I wonder if bikes are just faster in some ways. This means we'll have to, uh, and with a cart, see if that keeps up. Whoa. There we go. I could definitely see uh, the potential for a corner cut there. I didn't see the ramp before, but now I know it's there. And we're still not too far behind. I missed that coin when I really just need as many coins as I can get. So that is definitely a shame, but I can grab a couple more right here. I might take the wider path just to get one, two, three more. Up to eight of them now, and I stole my mushroom, so I can use that just to catch up a little bit here and there. Really not too far behind Petey at this point. Petey's gonna use that corner cut right there, which definitely isn't a bad one. I have to keep that in mind. I think I'm just gonna use it here. Petey is pretty far ahead of me. Got the purple one. Ooh. Don't know what our chances are catching up here, but I'll give it everything I got. Corner cut right there. Oh, just barely, no! Oh, darn, no chance now. I'll try it one more time. We'll go for this track one extra time and we'll see if we can't beat PD Prano with this one. If not, we'll just get what we get, whatever it is. 
But it has been a lot of fun going through these time trials because it just sort of, you know, reminds me about, first off, how many tracks were out of, but how many of them are a lot of fun. Lots of fun track designs and setups here. Got that pretty good. Just gonna do our tricks through here. And since I know that Petey is gonna go through this way, I might as well do the same thing. All right, got it. Nice, we got 0.3 seconds ahead. It's not a ton of time. But it's something. So PD cut this corner before, and honestly, that might be one of the better shortcuts, but I took it at a bad angle, so unfortunately, he's gonna zoom off without me. Come back, please. All right, come on, come on. Drifting through here as much as I can. Getting a whole lot closer. Still not quite there, up to 10 coins now. So that's a good sign. We have our last mushroom here. Ooh, overtaking a little bit, just for a moment. So cut through the mud. Ah, oh, and I still took it too wide. Darn, that's a really tough one. I don't know what our chances are of actually winning this, but it's not too far off now. A couple more turns will decide the victor. I'm a little bit worried about where Petey's gonna use that last mushroom but I think I got it. Even if they do use the mushroom here, I think we got it. There it is. Awesome. All right, I'm glad that we actually could get that one. That's actually really cool. So another track done, this one with a victory. Let's not upload the ghost. Instead, we will change our course and uh, just see what's next for us. All right, so next up we got uh, the Koopa Cape from Mario Kart Wii. This is a pretty crazy course. Um, and we got Koopa to race against. Nintendo Masim. Two minutes and 18 seconds. All right, Koopa Cape is a classic track, and hopefully we can keep up with the Koopa. Home turf here for that, so gotta be careful. I might want to yeah, jump through here. This is the classic place to use a mushroom. Just to get a little bit of a corner cut, but oh, I really didn't follow that. I don't like that one bit. It's a really awkward, little booster there. I typically don't take it for that exact reason. I think there's enough coins like behind us I could probably scoop up some there. Hold on, that's not a good start. I was too distracted. One more time. Then we'll maybe be able to keep up with the Koopa here. All right. Might be too early. Ah, oh, it's rough. I'm having a hard time with it, but it's supposed to be right before the two sort of fades away. But if you do it a moment too soon, obviously that's gonna happen. There we go, that was basically perfect timing. So it seems like the ghosts always get it perfect every time. So you know what, this time, I'll follow Koopa's lead. Don't run into the gloom with that, please. So yeah, I'm not gonna bother with this too much this time because I just don't like how it launches me after. But, go over here. Go right into the rock, definitely what I wanted. Not using a mushroom just yet. I think I could have tricked there too. All right. This part, of course, now has anti-grab, which it wouldn't before. I don't know how I, that was really weird. I tricked, didn't get a speed boost, but I also just didn't get launched at all. Really odd. So I'll use my mushroom here to help me catch up to the game just not being very nice to me at all. <laughs> Definitely bummed out by that one, but I think we're just gonna keep going with this and just sort of see how it turns out. Get another coin right there. Once again, I didn't really want to do that one, but turned out how it did. Definitely want to be on the water as much as possible. I know I used my last mushroom there, but it is what it is. There we go, yeah, you can do a trick off of that. What just happened? I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna keep moving, whatever. Yeah, see, this one doesn't work. What was with that? <laughs> All right. Some goofy things going on in Koopa Cape. Maybe I prefer the Wii version. I'm gonna drift through here. Ow, cool. Oh, this one feels like a little bit of a disaster. We're five seconds behind. I don't know if I've ever been that far behind with these. Or I just didn't bother just to restart it, but 
I would like to just keep moving forward. We can get a really good final lap. Unheard of catch up time. <laughs> so we could, yeah, jump through there, get a decent drift like this. I think it might be better to go wider. Never mind. Never mind. I didn't say anything. And, yeah, get through this way. All right. So, not really the result we were looking for, but it is what it is. Can't win them all. I mean, you can if you, if you spend enough time on it. You can, but wanting them on the first try. I don't know why those boosters are so finicky. It's really odd, but we lose this one. I would rather just move on to the next track. I think we have one more left for this cup, right? So let's see what that might be. Our time won't be super favorable. Almost 10 seconds behind Koopa by the end of it. That is crazy. Let's change our course. All right, so next up we have our Mario Kart Tour Vancouver Velocity. This one will definitely be another unfamiliar one, but we're racing against Rosalina. Nintendo skip two minutes and 11 seconds. All right, this one is really cool. We're in Vancouver, got the cool mountains in the distance. Didn't quite get the perfect start, but we'll do everything we can to catch up and keep up. Right, grab a coin there, not bad. A lot of straightaways here that we can do some tricks off of. Suspension bridge here, whoa. Get the purple drift there, which is always nice to see. So far we're not doing so bad, considering the fact that I'm not super familiar with this track at all. Ooh, come on, I'm just gonna cut this corner in. Didn't get any coins for it, of course, but I think maybe catching up a little bit is more so my focus. I missed both of those coins, I can already tell. She's gonna go right through here. All right, let's go over this way. We're sorta kinda catching, whoa, whoa, I never would have thought of that one. See, sometimes it's good to uh, just follow them for a bit, because that is a crazy quarter cut when you think about it. That typically looks like one of those ones where Lakitu would pick you up and go, oh, good try. Oh, we're going through the hockey rink, cool. Oh no, oh, but right into the wall. What kind of turn was that? I don't know. Okay, so, catching up a little bit. I think we're at 3.8 seconds behind. Don't know if there's too much of a chance to catch up here. Such a long straightaway there, for sure. Need the purple drift, making our way through here as much as possible. Oh no, whoa, close one. I have my 10 coins, so I could just stay ahead of everything. Not bump into anything, so I lose those coins. That'd be great, but it looks like, yeah, Rosalina's already all finished up. Sort of a shame, but like I said, it's just one of those really long tracks where you'd have to practice it in time to really get the perfect run through. Because it looks like, you know, besides like a shortcut here and there, it's really just about taking every corner perfect. So we're not gonna do that, we're just gonna keep going. But that was the rest of that cup. I think we have two more left to go. All right, next up we have the Acorn Cup. Of course, these two are our most recent cups, the Acorn and the Spiny, so hopefully I'll do a little bit better with these. We got the Rome Avanti from Mario Kart Tour. We're going against Pauline, which of course is Nintendo Julia, a minute and 57 seconds. Okay, so these are some of the tracks we've most recently played in the last few episodes, so maybe, just maybe, I can keep up with the action a tad bit more. If I just wanna get through this as much as I can, get a good drift there. And boom, that was a nice purple one. I got it a little bit before Pauline did there, so that's excellent. And then definitely, definitely take that shortcut, cool. Ah, oh, but I just barely, didn't really land the way I wanted to. Luckily, still catching up, but for how long, you know? Another cool shortcut right over here. I saw that for just a second, whoa. Can I jump off of them? I guess I, I can. I figured that would hurt me. I'm glad it didn't, but. Two mushrooms in the first lap, that was interesting. I sort of just followed their lead there. Okay. Yeehaw! 
Oh no, that's not where I go. <laughs> I saw some staircase in the distance and I thought, okay, I'm gonna be jumping over to those. Not quite. I was so focused in that it still didn't work out. It's okay. Not as good of a start there though this time, which is a shame. It does sort of make me want to redo it, but I'll just see if we can't catch up and do well. So we were a little bit behind when this started before. You get that purple drift and off the side of the track. Oh, this is tough. Okay, so this time I'll zoom through this way. And yeah, hopefully we'll end up in the right direction this time. I feel like that's typically the only downside of the tour tracks, or specifically the city tracks, is that it can be really hard to know where to go sometimes. Obviously there's the big arrows pointing your way, but sometimes it just sort of sneak up on you in a way that's not very easy to handle. All right, and we're going through this again. Always cool to see. Oh no, oh no. Might be able to get the purple. Not quite. Okay, going through with the chain chomps. No problem. I know Pauline is right behind us, but I might just wanna keep it moving. Okay, definitely using my corner cut there. I don't know if Pauline did the same. We'll land right here. And I think I got it, I think I got it, there we go. Able to get the victory there, that's great. Wasn't expecting it, but we found a way through. So that's the first one of this cup all finished up. And as you can see, we were, you know, a solid almost two seconds ahead. Pretty good s score to see. So we're just gonna go ahead and change our course. All right, so next up for the Acorn Cup, we have DK Mountain from Double Dash going against Funky Kong, Nintendo Laura. Two minutes and 35 seconds. All right, so this can be a very tricky track to get a good time on. I can only imagine. Well, we'll just try to get a good start. <laughs> Funky Kong is huge on that cart. Looks like they used their mushroom right away, which I don't really feel like I need to do. We'll see if we can catch up with, you know, our extra mushroom somewhere. Right now, I'll just focus on trying to take these turns. Well, maybe not the best angle there, cutting it in a little too sharp. I don't think I want to go too crazy with, you know, getting coins here. Just whatever turn helps us out the best is what we'll do. And I'm really catching up. Once again, I didn't use my mushroom. So I can use it somewhere. Okay, let's restart. <laughs> that last turn was my chance to catch up and unfortunately didn't quite hit it the right way. The DK barrel is doing me in. Let's try it again. I still don't think I'll use my uh, mushroom here. Really don't feel like I need it. So I can cut this corner in super close, get the purple drift, actually catching up the Funky Kong even more than that first time. See, so don't cut it in too much here. Maybe actually grab a coin or two as well. There we go. Because sometimes the coins will sort of highlight an optimal line to take through a turn. Sometimes they will not, but. <laughs> Looks like Funky went that way. Please don't squish me. That was insanely close. Turning really tight here, but we get a purple drift out of it. There we go. That was excellent, actually. I'm getting scared about this again. Ah, it's fine. That's where I use my mushroom. Get a few tricks off the bridge or just one. Funky Kong is still right next to me. Using the mushroom again there. I don't know if that's really the best spot to use that. I feel like there's gotta be something a bit better. Unfortunately, as I say that, Funky Kong is taking the lead, so I might just be totally wrong with that. We'll see that. Because I'm catching up a bit now. I need one more coin, so I think we just, boom, take this. Please don't run into the rock. Got it, got it, got it. Getting through this way a little bit more. This is my chance to really take a solid lead. As I cut through this turn, purple drift. Go through here. And I know that things can be a little bit absurd for this turn. So we do this, take it a little bit wider, then I mushroom. And then I take maybe a trick or two. Yep, off the bridge. Feeling pretty good about that. 2.3 seconds ahead. Let's keep it moving. Come on. Purple drift right there. The sooner the better. Waving goodbye to Funky Kong as we 
sift through all the way to the top of the volcano. I think I once again took that turn a little bit too tight, but I did like this line that I picked up by watching Funky, which is right here. Just going down it a little bit more to the side. Have to avoid the rock again. Ooh, this turn, maybe not the best angle for it, but it's okay. We recover right here. Then a big drift through this turn. Oh no! A little bit too much. I still have a chance to catch up though. It just won't be an excellent time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No way! Just barely winning. It could have been like three or four seconds ahead, but a win is a win. The fact that I was able to fall off the side of the track and still pull out such a narrow 0 .01 victory. I think 0 .012 victory. That's crazy. Ah oh, man, let's go to the next course. All right, so next up we have Daisy Circuit. This one will be fun because I haven't been able to check out the shortcuts here, but we have Nintendo Adrian playing Daisy, two minutes and one second. All right, so with this one, such a cool track. I've had a lot of fun with it in the cup episodes. Daisy gonna take a little bit of a lead on us to start things off, but we will go right into a drift. And of course, the angling for this first turn, pretty important because we want to mushroom right through here. And whoa, it has a gliding section now. Definitely not something that was in the Wii portion. In the Wii version. Oh no, oh no, oh. Could have done a little bit better with that drift, but with it, I'm still taking the lead. I'm gonna do a good drift right there, and then, boom, start hitting these. A couple more coins. Wish we could, oh no, whoa, get a trick off of that. Not really going the way I wanted it to, but we're not too far behind, so I think I'll keep it going. 0.6 seconds behind. I can just grab two coins there. Purple drift again, mushroom through here. Do our gliding stuff. And just try to catch up the daisy a little bit. Okay, this time I'll take the drift a little bit better, for sure. Oh no. Oh, just barely, narrowly avoiding disaster there. I'll grab one coin there. I was hoping for two. Definitely not going my way because of that, but uh, I don't know what our chances are catching up here, but 1.2 seconds behind. Maybe we can catch up hitting these cones. Doesn't slow us down at all, luckily. Oh, I didn't get the trick off there. Guess I jumped a little bit too soon. I'm just now noticing the baby Luigi and baby da Daisy statues. Were, there, were they there in the original? I don't know. Hitting the wall a little bit. It's not looking very high chances. I'm gonna get this one. I'll keep, yeah, okay, I, never mind. I was gonna say I'm gonna keep going to the end, but that trick on that jump, once again, not really working for me. I don't know why I'm getting the timing off on this so often recently. But hey, we'll get a good start this time. I'll try to race through again and see if we can't get a little bit farther. All right, we're coming up on the last lap here. It's very, very close, but I will drift through right over here. Just like that, boom, get this one. A little bit ahead of her still. All we need to do is just keep flying over here, land that, and then drift right about here. Really cutting it close, but that's exactly what we gotta do. Got it. And as long as I don't make any really silly mistakes here, I think we got the victory. Got it. I keep drifting right here, cut this corner super close, but well worth it so that we can take this victory right there. Awesome, just under two minutes for a total time here. Awesome record for sure. So I think we got a second or two ahead of Daisy by the end of it. Looks like that's the case. Very cool. So let's go ahead and change our course again. We still have more to do. All right, so next up we have Piranha Plant Cove, our last one for the Acorn Cup. Pretty cool. We're gonna race against PD Piranha, which is to totally sets a close since it's a PD Piranha style. Of course, Nintendo Sophia, two minutes and 17 seconds. We're gonna get forward as much as we can and just sort of see what the results are. Got it? Okay. So far, we're starting ahead of PD Piranha. A good sign for us. With the track I'm a whole lot less familiar with. I think I wanna grab these coins. I have a feeling I was expecting a mushroom skip from our opponent there, but not really the case. Okay. A little trick off of these staircase parts. 
and this is not the kind of track that changes too much, but it does change with uh, each lap. And right over here's a little bit more. I think here's a great point for the mushroom, and it seems like PD agrees with me. I got one coin, might just want to keep it with that. As we finish off the first lap here, still neck and neck with PD. All right. Trick didn't work there, but still just barely able to take the lead a little bit. I don't know if that's me or more so our cart combo, just being a little bit better in that scenario. I don't know what's really faster for this section, because you could go up there. He didn't do it either, so maybe a good choice. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and cut this corner. Uh, I don't know if the jumps here are better than just simply using the booster. Now a whole lot more behind. It is what it is though. Just gonna keep moving. Ooh, catching up a little bit. There is a shortcut up here, I remember it. Yep, right over this way, so it's mushroom time. Do a cool trick. We're closing in. There is a chance we could take this back, but it would require me not to make a silly mistake on the corner. Ah, oh, see, I don't, you don't want to get boosted up into the air too much because I feel like that actually slows you down weirdly enough. Got it. Okay. So I'm gonna get there, but maybe I could just take this turn simply better and catch up that way. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No way! <laughs> right at the end, an amazing corner take in there. I sort of took a risk, and it was well worth it because we just barely beat Petey with it. How close was that one? Just tenths of a second away. I can't believe it. Getting some close races towards the end of everything here. Let's change our course to the next one. All right, so that is the final, or the second to last cup done. Now we have our final cup, which of course is the Spiny Cup, and our first one will be the Mario Kart Tour Madrid Drive. With this one, we can race against Peachette. Oh, it's a Peachette showdown, and it is Nintendo RSL, something like that. Two minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. Okay, so with this one, let's get to it. Which Peachette will be the victor? Cool to see that they're using the new characters out. For all these time trials and stuff. Little bummed that I didn't get the turn perfect there. I'm going the wrong way for this one, uh-oh. Oh boy. Catching up a little bit though. That's good to see. Do some good tricks there and definitely use the mushroom right there. I didn't trick off that one staircase, which is definitely an issue with the piranha plants popping out of the picture. Still my favorite part of this track. And that's the first lap done. Not super happy with the lead they've taken on me, but. Couldn't quite get the purple drift there. Gotta watch out for this Wiggler stomping through. We're couching up a little bit, ever so slightly. Okay, do a trick there for sure, and then they're cutting this corner. I'll do the same thing. And just inching closer, ever so slightly. Ah, oh, but I go right into the wall. Darn, okay, it was fine up until then. Let's give this a second gap. All right. Got it. Good drift or boost to start with. Okay, I think I wanna change my positioning here. Unfortunately, missing the coin that I really needed, but it's okay. More opportunities to make things happen over here. This turn, maybe not the best, but we're getting through it still. That is not the way to go. Oh no, that's definitely gonna kill my momentum. But we know the, the deal here. I trick off of this, I boost through. Oh, and I take it too wide. Oh, this is a tough track. It's definitely not easy. We're heading into the last lap again. I'm still not quite caught up there as much as I wanna be, but 
We might be able to make it happen here with this last turn. Oh, okay, that turn was a little bit tighter than I was expecting. It looks like, ooh, didn't quite get the corner cut I needed, but just didn't know it was coming up. Ooh, here we go, here we go. This could actually be my chance. If I can hit that speed boost, which I was able to, then I get this, or up to 10 coins, take this turn, super tight. Just like that, just like that. Come on, come on, right at the end, right at the end, I think I got it. Here it is, we win. Oh man, that was close. All right, very, very cool. So I'm glad that we're sort of building up a little bit of a win streak with these recent courses. Always good to see. We're gonna keep it moving and change our course to the next one in this cup. All right, next up we have the Nintendo 3DS Rosalina's Ice World. With this one, of course, racing against Rosalina, Nintendo Pavel, two minutes and 10 seconds. All right, so I'm fully not expecting to be able to get the win for the time trial with this one, just because I know this is a particular dif difficult course, especially with the uh, icy turns and everything. I do really like the song for this course, so. Okay, ready, boom, got the purple drift there. Not gonna get too worried about coins, just whatever's gonna help me get through this course with the turns and everything, just barely dodging the penguin. We do a trick up this way. Ooh. Didn't quite get the turn I wanted there. But this is definitely the spot where we use a mushroom just like that. All right. Racing that has definitely built up a little bit of a lead. Whoa, crazy move they just did there. I don't know if that actually helped catch up a little bit more. I feel like I'm closing in. Okay, well this is a good opportunity just to get the remaining coins I need. We're up to 10. This time, I will keep it on the inside. I don't know if going that way actually helps too much. Maybe it does, ooh, it looks like it did. Darn. Good to keep in mind, I suppose. Enjoying my few moments here, I get to race on a part of the track that actually is good traction. Come on. Getting a really good drift through that part. I will try what they did. Didn't really work out perfect for me, but it definitely could have been worse. Whoa, with the speed boost they got from that, able to stay up on the ice, I guess. Very cool. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, I hit the icicle. Not looking good for me. Now we got this last little jump. Gonna boost through like this. Whoa. Okay, well, I tried my best. Didn't quite get it. Well, like I said, this is one of those tracks where I feel like I just have to grind it over and over and over again to get that time. And I don't feel like doing that right now. So we will move on. Four seconds behind is a little rough, but hey, we've been doing a lot of wins recently. We'll change our course. We still have two more to go for this final cap. All right, so next up is a really fun one. Super Nintendo, Mario Kart, or Super Mario Kart, of course. Uh, Bowser Castle 3, and we're going against Bowser. Nintendo Poly, which is a minute and 54 seconds. Let's go for it. Very intense course. The vibes of this one are way different than the previous race. But the stakes are just as high, right? Oh, never mind. We're trying again. <laughs> That's not what I want at all. So, let's give it another go. Okay. Okay, well, that was not good. I guess I hit the dirt there and it ruined my drift. So far, not what I'm looking for, but as soon as we get. Oh, I like the horn. <laughs> That's a cute one. Uh. As soon as we get a good vibe going, I think we'll be fine. Here's hoping. Maybe I should just worry about a blue drift there. And we'll just try to catch up, or at least keep up as much as possible. I would love to go to this area to the right just to grab at least one more coin. Missing the boosters a little bit, but I think this might be a, a good spot for a mushroom <laughs> shortcut. I'm struggling with this one so far, jeez. Okay, hitting the turns a little bit better this time, and because of that, 
looks like Bowser might have gotten up on the pillar. Hard to tell for, for right now, but uh, because of that, I'm actually in the lead. Not the best when it comes to coins, but I'm not too worried about it. We'll make do with what we have. 0.6 seconds ahead of Big Bad Bowser. I'll grab another one there, up to seven now. And Bowser this time takes some more inside line, but Whoa, got a little bit scared there. I think I might just do the, the mushroom turn again. Worked out pretty well for me, and we get our 10th coin. Back in the lead with a two. Definitely drifting off of that. Still about the same amount of time ahead as I was last time. Uh oh, scary, but I'm able to do a little bit of a interesting path there. I hit the lava because the game loves me. Not a good situation, that is for sure. But I still might have the chance to catch up. Obviously, I don't have my 10 coins anymore. Got the purple drift. Jumping off of there. I'm ahead of Bowser for now. But for how long will that stay the case? Oh man, oh no! <laughs> You are kidding me. All right, well it is what it is. I don't feel like replaying this one. We already gave it a good couple of tries there. Very close, if I didn't get hit by the lava before, I think we would have been fine. So, that is a shame to see, but we have one more course left, so let's go and tackle that now. All right, so, one last course to do today. It is the Mario Kart Wii Rainbow Road. I hope we can keep up with it. Of course, racing against Mario, Nintendo Lionel, uh, two minutes and 49 seconds. All right, so let's see how this goes. The final Rainbow Road. So exciting. I'll do my best to win this one, but obviously it's a pretty tough track. But it's been a long time coming to play through all these time trial courses. Win or lose, it definitely takes a lot of effort, but it's very fun. Okay, got it, sort of. Definitely grab a couple more coins here. Already up to 10 of them. So now I can just focus on whatever's gonna be the best possible turn for us. Instead of, you know, the paths that'll get us coins. Which would be great because Mario's taking the lead on us, but I haven't used my mushroom yet, and I'm pretty sure Mario has. Okay, a little bit scary, but we do land it. And we're catching up. So. I'll do that so I don't have to worry as much. There we go. Like I said, a little bit ahead of me, but I'm not too worried about it. I think we can make this happen. Because when it comes to taking turns like that, a lot of the time, I feel like I do end up doing better. Where I struggle, it seems, is doing the tricks. Why did I go this way? <laughs> Not what I meant to do. The tricks, like I press the button for the tricks and a lot of the time, the tricks just don't happen. All right, so far, so good. I'm keeping up pretty well. And then, oh, I see what he's doing. There we go. Using the mushroom to get over that gap. Able to keep up that way, but I'm not taking the lead, unfortunately. So we'll just keep it going. Got the trick there. I will keep with the upper path. I believe in this one a little bit more. Cause I just like how we end up here. And as we're heading into the final lap, it's working out pretty well for me. I'm one second ahead. Can we keep that going for the rest of this? That's the big question. I think we can. We can get some really good drifts here. Ready and boom. And then we will just try to, once again, do some tricks. A lot of the time, my character just ends up jumping for some reason. Not quite the way I want it to, but. Oh no, oh no, oh no, not good. Gotta try again, <laughs> yikes. All right, this one's proving to be a really close race. We're on the last lap. This one is just all or nothing for me. We'll see if we're able to get the win. If Mario might beat us out here, we'll see. Definitely, yeah, drifting through here. Mario's doing the same thing. Oh, just barely grazing against the wall there. He 
here is our last turn though where I'm gonna use the mushroom, take the lead a little bit. That might be my chance, come on! Oh, it's close, but we're able to get that win. Awesome! So there we go, we're able to finish it off with a W for the end of the time trials. Glad to see it, with only a few fractions of a second there to spare, we are all finished up. So we were able to check out every single time trial as part of the booster course pass. Unfortunately, not being able to get the victory for each one of them, but I still think it was fun to check them out. Now, of course, there's still more action we can get into if you guys wanna see it. If enough people want to, maybe we could have an episode checking out all the me characters. Since we've really done everything in the single player that's new now, I figure the best thing to do when it comes to that is probably just multiplayer. So if you guys want to see some multiplayer matches with all the brand new me costume additions, be sure to let me know. But for the time being, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.